Hi, this tutorial covers the least squares line. So let's start with some data. All right, so this simple, pretty simple data set, only five values. Um, here's the raw data here, and then here's the data as a scatter plot. Okay, we'll come back to that in a sec. So now we want to consider two possible best fit lines. I have equations for both of them here. So y hat equals 0.5 plus 0.5x and y hat equals negative 1 plus 1x. So let's graph each equation on the previous scatter plot. Okay, so um, I'll do the first one here in green. So it's 0.5 plus 0.5x. So that means it has a y-intercept of 0.5 and a slope of 0.5. So the y-intercept of 0.5 is going to be here. And then if it has a slope of 0.5, it means for every one unit we go over, we go a half a unit up. Okay, so there'd be a point here. And then if we went over one, up one, there'd be another point here. Um, I only need two points to make a line, but I can use all three here. So this would be the first possible best fit line. And the second one was y hat equals negative 1 plus 1x. Okay, so the y-intercept is negative 1, the slope is 1. So the y-intercept of negative 1 would be here. Okay, I won't plot a point there, but we could imagine then going a slope of 1 would be over 1 and up 1. So a change of the change in x is one, change in y is one. So we'd know we'd have a point here. Another point you would go over one, up one, over one, up one. Okay, so we can get we're gonna get a line that looks something like that, and I will connect the points with the ruler again. Okay, so to kind of evaluate these two lines. Um, I would say the green one seems to do a pretty good job. We have two points below it, three points above it. The three points above it are a little closer to the line than the two points below it. Um, a good thing about the red line, um, for one, it goes through two points exactly, so that's good. Um, it has two points below, one point above. Um, I would say one downfall here is that um, this, point is, this point here is pretty far from the line. Um, so they're both pretty good, but we want to kind of come up with some criteria for de determining which of these two um, is the better of the two lines. All right, so um, a good best fit line should minimize residuals. So let's find the residuals for each line. Okay, so what I ha basically have here is um, a table with all of the points here. I have a column for the y hat values, a column for the y minus y hat values, so the residuals, and then we'll, sh we'll use that column in a sec. Um, so the first thing I want to do is determine my y hat values. So what I'm going to do is take my x's, plug them into this y hat equation. So if I take 2, substitute it in here for x, 0.5 times 2 is 1, plus 0.5 is 1.5. Okay, for 3, 0.5 times 3 is 1.5, plus 0.5 is 2. Uh, 5 times 0.5 is 2.5, plus 0.5 is 3. 4, um, so that'd be 2, plus 0.5 is 2.5. And 5, we already calculated, this, so that's also 3. Okay, so now my y minus y hat values, I just need to subtract my y's from my y, my, um, subtract y minus y hat. So 2 minus 1.5 is 0.5, 1 minus 2 is negative 1, 2 minus 3 is negative 1, 3 minus 2.5 is 0.5, 4 minus 3 is 1. Okay, and let's do the same thing for um, my second equation here. So plug 2 in for x, so 1 times x, or 1 times 2 is 2, plus negative 1 is 1, 3 plus negative 1 is 2, um, 5 plus negative 1 is 4. Uh, four, time, uh, 4 times 1 is 4 plus negative 1 is 3. And 5 is also 4 there. Okay, now y minus y hat. This is positive 1, negative 1, negative 2, 0, and 0. 
Okay. So um, what we do now is, so we want to minimize the residuals. Um, but a lot of times when you're measuring residuals, you're going to end up with um, residuals generally equal to zero. Okay, so we can see that in this case, if we add these up, negative one uh, or 0 0.5 plus negative one plus negative one plus 0.5 plus one, we will get this equal to zero. Okay, these values here, um, these will actually add up to negative three. Okay, so we can see that these do have residuals. Um, a lot of times, um, there's a special characteristic of best fit lines. If they go through a certain point, these residuals will always equal zero. The sum of the residuals will always equal zero. So a lot of times what we'll do instead is calculate squared residuals. So if we square residuals, they're always going to give us positive numbers so that when we add them, they won't ever equal zero. So really we're just going to square each of these numbers. So if we square 0.5, we get 0.25. If we square negative one, we get one, one, 0.25, and one. Okay, um, and now if I square the residuals here, this is one, one, four, zero, and zero. All right, so what we can do now is take the sum of the squared residuals. So 0.25, 1, 1, 0.25, 1, that's 3.5 for the first line. And for the second line, y minus y hat squared. Um, that's going to be 1, 1, 4, 0, 0. So that's going to be 6. Okay. So since this line has a smaller sum of the squared residuals, this line will fit the better fit the data better than this line. Okay. So this I would say is a better fit. Okay. So the least squares line um, is a best fit line that is found through the process of minimizing the sum of the squared residuals. Okay. So we, in the last two examples, we just found which one has the smaller sum of the squared residuals. Um, when you're calculating what's called the least squares line, there's actually a process that will allow you to find the line that has the least squares. Um, we're not going to go through that process, but I, I just want to make sure that you understand that what we're doing when we're finding a least squares line is finding the minimum value of the sum of the squared residuals. All right, and um, a least squares line is the most common type of best fit line. So when you when you usually hear that term, best fit line or regression line, generally they're talking about the least squares line. Uh, so that has been the tutorial on the least squares line. Thanks for watching.